Uh, I can imagine that if you, if you uh, decide to make such a big step, um, that, well, you, it's not uh, overnight. I think you just uh, think about it, think about it. Yeah. Is there one, 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 one turning point for you that you thought, well, I have to do it by myself now? I had a couple of turning points. There was one night I was playing in a... <clears throat> I was starting to play my own songs, but I was doing a lot of studio work, and I was also playing a lot of classic rock, and I remember... Classic rock, what song did you play? Oh, everything. Smoke Honky water. Tonk Woman, yeah, okay. you know, you name it, I played it. <laughs> okay. And the living jukebox you were. Yeah, and, and, and I remember coming home one night after that gig, and uh, my roommate had just gotten the Woodstock box set, you know. Mm -hmm. And I remember listening to that and thinking, how many of these songs I'm playing? And thinking, man, you are really not going anywhere with this. These songs have been played, and no matter what you do, it's Watchtower is still better when Bob Dylan plays it or when Jimi Hendrix plays it, and you know, you better get, and that was one thing, and I remember thinking at that, at that moment, I'm not going to be satisfied with doing this anymore. This is not, you know. Uh, the other, I think the other thing was when I, went on tour with Shakira, which was the first time that I really traveled extensively on that kind of level. Mm -hmm. I realized, man, I, I, I want to do this. You know, I can do this. I need, to, I need to really get out of Miami, get out of this whole background music scene and, and try to do this. You know? But I think, in a way, it, it, it gave you a sort of mo momentum, maybe, because Absolutely. you worked with Shakira, Jennifer Lopez, Julio Iglesias, did it? It gave me momentum in the sense that I, it gave me money. It didn't give me any momentum going to New York. Nobody gave a flying whatever that, that I had done that in New York. It wasn't like I got to New York and I got work because I had worked with Shakira. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it, was, it, 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 it was momentum in the sense that, you know, that I learned that I could travel, for instance. Okay. So it was more for you on a personal basis. Yeah. Um, yeah then let's pick another song uh, of your album. Um, pick somebody up. Mm. Sometimes people ask me, why do you do it? Mm. And then I am that people, and this is sometimes right. now. <laughs> why well, do you, I mean, why that, do you do it? <clears throat> that's what I talk about in the song. You know, it's. Now, would you say certain things? It's not one one thing. You see, you give certain explanations, but not really one that's the, that it's the firmest are. I mean, there is a lot of reasons, though. I don't think there is one explanation. I mean, there's a, there's a very simple explanation. This, this is what I can do. I'm good at this. I can do this. I can make a living. So that's one explanation. Okay. The other one is, I feel it's important what I have to say. And I feel that it's important that people hear it. And, and that it will, and I also feel like I want to bring, like I'm doing good in the world somehow by doing this. Like I'm bringing joy to people. I'm helping people to sort of come out of their reality in, in a way that, that's really important. So I guess that's, those are kind of the explanations. That's why I don't give one because there's, there's more than one really.